All right, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Here is a, uh, a pretty much a quick overnight build I had to uh, do, and uh, it's basically a a donated amplifier for a breakout in California. I was uh, I was approached and asked if I could uh, donate a two pill, and I had plans of. Uh, donating a candy painted two pill you know the box candy painted but because of time constraints I was not able to get this case candy painted so I just painted this case myself put a couple of coats of primer on there and, and painted it uh, a, a blue color so uh, you know better than no paint I guess <laughs> so basically what we got going on here is uh, at the time uh, they needed a pitcher of the amplifier and of course it wasn't built at the time so what I did is I took a picture of another amplifier that I had already built which is this one right here can you see the resemblance <laughs> so I kind of sent a picture of this this is an AB bias amp right here but so I sent a picture of this and what my plan was is just to duplicate the looks of it. I didn't uh, send pictures of the inside, I just sent pictures of the outside. So I just uh, said, nah, I'll send you a picture of that one, then I'll just duplicate the uh, looks of it so it'll be the same looking amplifier, of course. So that's what I did there. Just being completely honest, of course. So there's the SSB switch right there. This is a Class C box. And since that had this switch right here on it, Beside the variable, I had to add it to this, <laughs> and this was something that that customer had asked for. Basically, this is a 50 ohm variable, okay? And here you got a 33 ohm pad. So basically, you can look at it as high, low, high, low. Then you've got the variable to use within each of it. This basically would be a great amplifier for a driver. It's still considered high drive, but if you're going to use this as a high drive amplifier, turn that variable all the way up and turn this on high if you're going to use this as a high drive amplifier. But it's mainly mostly designed as a low drive amplifier for a driver or something like that. Okay, so we're just going to hit it with a good hot radio and just let leave it be with that. And uh, so here we go. We've got the uh, bench radio hooked up to it. We're going to be driving 4 watts RMS, which is about 18 to 20 watts peak. Okay, let's see how much that gives us. Alright. Yeah, I ran out of the circular buttons. So I had to use uh, one of the power buttons, which is really neat. Alrighty. Thousand watts slow. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Almost hitting a hundred bird. Almost hitting a hundred bird. We're just putting about four watts into it. Here's your uh, input tune. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. A little movement, but not much. Looks great. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is, well, I'll put it on peak real quick just to see what it's doing, peak. 1,000 watt slug, we're looking at the bottom scale. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ta 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 talking, talking. Talking about 300 watts, PEP. All right, let's put a little bit more drive in it and see what's going on. It'll be one second, I gotta hook it up. The old Stickman Modified Cobra 29. We're gonna double our input drive from four watts to eight. Here we go. All righty, we got the uh, rest in peace. Stickman, the uh, Cobra 29 Stickman Modified, which I will never get rid of. Alright, <clears throat> so we're just going to be driving by 8 watts RMS, which is about 35 to 40 peak watts. So here's what we're getting 1000 watt slug. Oh, oh, oh. So it's about 150, 150 or so RMS. Let's take a look at the peak. Ooh, yeah, about 450 peak. 
What are we doing out here? What are we talking? Are we talking about 400? Are we talking about 400? Got down, got down. And that's on about 15.3 volts. No! Yeah, 15.3. All right. Like I said, it's not really designed to be a high drive box because of all the padding on the input here. Um, if all that wasn't there, yeah, it would already be doing probably right there about 200 right now. Usually I can get that out of the two pills uh, hitting it with a good hot radio. So I'm not going to hook up a driver to it like sometimes I do, you know, and see it do over 300 and over six, 700 peak. I'm going to let it be because I am under time constraints. i got to get this thing packaged up. I've already missed the post office, so it's going to have to go out UPS. So I'm going to call the guy up and work out all that. But uh, let me get the top on, and I'll come back and show, show you what it looks like with the top on, and we'll wrap it up. All righty, there she be. Turned out pretty good for a quick build. I didn't have an extra blue uh, fan to use. I mean, that's all looks anyway, y'all. Damn, if it ain't looks good but don't work good, it's useless. So I try to make them work good and look good. What you think about that? <laughs> anyway, there's the back of it. Here's your side band switch, your remote jack. Input and output. And uh, it's a 24 volt fan in there, so you ain't gonna worry about voltage with that. And uh, it's pushing some decent air. So I think it turned out good, man. Put some feet on the bottom so the paint wouldn't be getting messed up on the bottom of it. So, uh, like I said, this ain't no automobile type paint done in the booth like uh, a lot of the other amps I've done. You know, this is just something I painted myself. So, uh, you know, just try to be careful not to ding it up and scratch it so you can keep it looking good. You know, it don't take much to scratch up, uh, you know, sp spray paint, paint jobs. <laughs> Even if you use primer. Put a couple of coats of clear on it, too. All right, well, there she is. Let's go ahead and get her wrapped up, packaged up, and out the door tonight. Little gatekeeper said it. God bless everybody. 73rds. I'm gone. Bye bye.